I'm a Vermont-based artist, born and raised in the Green Mountains. I'm a published author, podcaster, and nature lover. I'm a practitioner of minimalism, a student of mindfulness, and a journeyer. As deeply rooted in my heart as the wild forests where I grew up is the innate love to travel and explore. For a good portion of this year, I've been living and learning in a tiny 15-foot camper that my husband and I renovated together as consciously and sustainably as we could. This is a little look at what a day in my life is like as I live nomadically and as consciously as possible in our sweet little nest. This is our tiny life, and we cherish it deeply. So normally on busy mornings when we're both getting ready to start a day of work, we have a quick breakfast. Other days when we have the day off, like today, we will spend some time making a larger breakfast, like a big breakfast, super healthy. We bought some potatoes from the co-op we visited a few days ago and some vegan sausage, some nice decaffeinated coffee. Um, so we are whipping up a bit of a bigger breakfast today because we have time to wait for it all to cook and to clean everything up. Can you like this for me, sweetie? Yeah. It's a little chaotic cooking in the camper. It's kind of like dodging and weaving <laughs> around each other to prepare the food. endlessly grateful for my plant-based diet which allows me to eat with awareness and consciousness and helps me to thrive on a daily basis. When I'm living nomadically I don't have as many tools as I do in Vermont like my dehydrator but in this little space I've managed to make room for Vitamix, plenty of kitchenware, herbal teas, supplements, and everything we need in order to stay healthy. of publishing my latest novel, which takes up an enormous amount of my time and energy and attention, but rest days are important for both of us, so on days off, every chance we get, we head out into the wilds. We are currently surrounded by nature preserves, and hitting the trail is one of our favorite ways to spend a lazy afternoon. I know it's nothing so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you
sehen. Das ist so cool. Something jumped out there. Living out of a 15 foot camper can feel small when you're inside all the time, but so often we are in nature and we're able to go outside. In today's modern hustle culture and internet culture, we lose sight of getting outside more. So that's something I really value about living in a tiny space is really it's not tiny at all because we spend so much time outside it actually encourages us to spend more time outside. Where we live in Vermont, we live very close to this huge forest and farmland preserve that we're always hanging out in. Seeing land being preserved for nature and not being built upon and not being invaded by human intervention. It's just so refreshing and beautiful and it reminds me of home to be off in the wilderness exploring. So it'd be hard to film a day in the life of living nomadically out of our little camper without mentioning tidying and showing a bit of our tidying process. Tidying is something that you have to constantly do when you're living in a very compact space. Otherwise, things just get too cluttered and we don't even own that much stuff but it's amazing how things will get super cluttered because you're cooking you're taking pots and pans out you're making coffee you're you know trying to get ready for bed getting blankets out moving pillows around and it's just chaos <laughs> it feels like such a small space and like there's so much in it so tidying up, doing, making sure the dishes are done constantly because the sink is super small, so you really have to do dishes in very small batches. The floor is constantly being swept up. I have a little handheld sweeper dustpan that I use to constantly be sweeping the floor because it's difficult. I go barefoot most of the time, so things are sand and leaves are constantly getting tracked in making sure the recycling gets taken out and we also try really hard to live as low waste as possible when we're living out of the camper and it's it's some of it's a lot more difficult than when we're at home in Vermont because in Vermont we're able to compost and where we are now we have not been able to compost which has been a huge bummer but other than that we try to make up for not being able to compost in other areas like keeping things super low waste no paper towels no single use plastics at all no like single use anything like things like foil cling wrap those are all things that are only used one time and then thrown away so we try to really stay away from single use and use things like bees wrap mason jars for storing everything glass storage containers or bamboo storage containers and just keeping those clean and accessible at all times so we're never having to use any single use things and as you guys know from other videos i also have bamboo cutlery that i carry with me everywhere a thermos, a reusable water bottle, things like that. So we try to make a real effort to keep it super low waste while we're living out of the camper because camping, living nomadically shouldn't be an excuse for accumulating more waste and throwing more things away. I think you can do both sustainably. So for low waste grocery market, farmer's market shopping, I have my bags all set up in a super strategic way so that it's really easy and carefree and I don't have to figure it out in the grocery store or at the checkout. I have all my cold bags in one cold bag. So one cooler bag to hold all the cooler bags 
And usually I only end up using one, but sometimes if we get a lot of produce, like when we go to the co-op, it's mostly all produce, so sometimes we just use these bags for produce. This bag has all the other bags inside of it. And all of the produce bags that are for actually getting individual produce and putting them in a mesh bag instead of a plastic or paper bag. And then in this basket is all of the bulk bags. So for right now, I'm using bags. These actually I just got because I wanted something instead of simply a jar because we're traveling and it's kind of a pain to have too much glass rattling around. So we have these really nice organic, I think they're, um, yeah, they're organic cotton bags for getting bulk items like granola, dates, cereal, almonds, things like that. So that's our bag setup. We really try to shop consciously and in a mindful way typically seeking out the closest small health food store or farmers market so that we can do our best to support small local farmers instead of big box stores and massive corporations. I like to shop with a list, shop the perimeter, and opt for bulk instead of packaged goods. Based on data from 2018, 82.2 million tons of the waste entering landfills was packaging packaging that is literally being made for us to simply discard. I'm not okay with that and so I'm really trying to do my best to create change for the better in my own personal practice. Every bit truly does help and it's so easy when you know what to do. It's really not that hard. And this isn't a recyclable container, so we can recycle this. At Home in Vermont, I do 100% of my shopping at either the farmer's market or the local co-op, which is all farmers selling their produce there. So on the road, it's been a fun experience to find health food oriented little stores to shop from. So we just got out of a health food store, got myself a smoothie and picked up some really nice produce. It's always a challenge to buy low waste to eliminate as much packaging as possible unless it can be recycled or composted or reused. So we try our best on the road. It's a little trickier than it is back home in Vermont, but it's all part of the journey. If I'm not spending time exploring in nature or catching up on the many chores that need to be done, I'm probably writing. Writing is my soul's expression, my love, my passion, and I'm grateful to say my daily work. I'm in the process of not only publishing another book called Sparrow Rising, but I'm also working on writing a book with my sister who I co-host a podcast with. I'm also working on a non-fiction book about mindfulness, minimalism, plant-based living, and a little bit of everything I talk about here on this channel. So if you don't want to miss any of these releases or any new videos for that matter, feel free to click subscribe because I would love to have you here in the community. At the end of the day, there's nothing that nourishes the body and soul like creating a healthy, nutrient-dense meal. As I said earlier, it can be tricky in a small space, so I like to stick to the basics. 
fresh, local if possible veggies, raw or sauteed in coconut oil and lemon juice seasoned with just salt and pepper, and easy meals that don't even require cooking like sandwiches and hearty organic sprouted green bread. I've always been inspired by French cooking and recipes, some of which I learned from my grandmother. The ingredients are fresh, whole, and simple, and that's really the key. That's why it tastes so good. And so, we end the day my preferred way, with a hot cup of herbal tea. I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into our nomadic lifestyle in our sweet little cocoon. No matter where we are or how large or small the space we're living in is, the most important thing to remember is to just be here, to be fully present, to tread lightly and live as mindfully as possible. But what do you think? I'd love to hear below in the comments. Would you try nomadic or tiny living? Maybe you already are. How do you think we can live more consciously and mindfully? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that too. Thank you so much for being here, my friend. I wish you so much joy in your journey.